Hi students, welcome to Writing Smart SPM 2021. For this lesson, we are focusing on English language for SPM. So it is the writing paper and the code is 1119 stroke 2. Before we begin the exercise, let's look at the details about part 3. Part 3, there are three questions. Students are supposed to choose or write only on one of the topic. So here the time given is about 35 minutes, marks 20 words. You have to write 200 to 250 words. There are four types of writing you have to learn. Review, report, article and story. But remember, only three types of writing or questions will be asked. Dear students, for this lesson, we are going to focus on how to write an article. Dear students, now let's look at the format. Remember, first of all, you have to have the title. And below the title, you can write the name of the writer. Next, you write paragraph 1, which is the introduction, followed by paragraph 2 and 3. They are the content paragraphs. And the last paragraph, paragraph 4, is the closing or the conclusion paragraph. Dear students, now let's look at the title and writer's name. So, how to write? You can write My School Canteen, which is a title. And below, you can write by Ali bin Ahmad. Or you can write the title, My School Canteen. And below the title, you write written by Ali bin Ahmad. Dear students, now let's look at the plan for paragraph 1. So, paragraph 1, remember, you have to write the introduction for the subject matter. So, here it is about the ideas on school canteen. There are three examples for paragraph 1. School canteens serve students and members of the staff and schools with light refreshment in hygienic condition. The food should be cooked under strict supervision and every effort should be made to ensure that students get the best food at the cheapest rate. A school canteen is a place where meals are served to the people who work or study there. It should provide an environment that supports healthy food practices among school people consisting of students, teachers and school civil servants slash workers as well as canteen workers. The school canteen has many stalls offering a variety of foods. One can choose Malay, Chinese, Indian or even Western food. The canteen operator and workers serve meals during recess and the food is usually inexpensive. Let's continue with paragraph 2. For paragraph 2, the question is, what types of food would you like to be served? So here, you have to give your opinion or idea or suggestion. Then, you have to provide the reasons and give examples or evidence if it is relevant. So here the question, what type of food would you like to be served? Opinion, you can write in my opinion, the school canteen should serve healthy food and less fried and oily food. Or you can write in my opinion, other types of food which are healthier can be served at the canteen. Then you can write your suggestion, I suggest that more vegetables and fresh fruits like bananas, oranges or dry fruits should, be, should also be sold instead of junk food. So when you give examples, this is under giving examples or evidence. Then remember, you can write your reason. Junk food or fast food such as burgers, fries, donuts, cakes, cookies, chocolates and savouries are not good for our health. Junk food contains harmful additives and coloring. The link between eating nutritious food and performance in examinations has been well established. Junk food only makes a student lethargic as they are deprived of essential vitamins. Then, remember, you can give examples. Examples can be the type of healthy food. You can write thus, school canteen should not stock this type of food. Instead, canteen operators should be allowed only to sell rice, noodles, pasta, bread, fresh, salad and other vegetables, as well as fruits and juices. Dear students, for paragraph 2, what types of food would you like to be served? Here are two examples. In my opinion, other types of food which are healthier can be served at the canteen. 
I suggest that more vegetables and fresh fruits like bananas, oranges, or dry fruits should also be sold, instead of junk food. Junk food or fast food such as burgers, fries, donuts, cakes, cookies, chocolates and savouries are not good for health. Junk food contains harmful additives and colorings. Thus, school canteens should not stop these types of food. Instead, canteen operators should be allowed only to sell rice, noodles, pasta, bread, fresh salad and other vegetables, as well as fruits and juices. The link between eating nutritious food and performance in examinations has been well established. Junk food only makes a student lethargic as they are deprived of essential vitamins. In my opinion, the canteen does not sell junk food, this is because junk food contains harmful additives and colorings. The canteen operators should serve only to sell rice, noodles, pasta, bread, fresh salad and other raw vegetables, as well as fruits and juices. Meanwhile, vending machines selling soft drinks also should be stocked with health drinks such as soybean milk, yogurt drink, herbal teas and others. Dear students, let's continue with paragraph 3. The question is, what special facilities should your canteen have? Here again, you have to give your opinion, idea or suggestion and then provide reasons. Give examples or evidence if it is relevant. So let's look at the answers. Question, what special facilities should your canteen have? So your opinion, some of the special facilities that the school canteen should have are vending machine, water dispenser, foldable tables and chairs. So you can write other facilities too. Then remember, don't forget your reasons. For example, you can write vending machine can be extra attraction for students who prefer light food. Or you can write water dispenser for students to refill water bottle. Or you can also write foldable tables and chairs to ensure students are able to sit comfortably and have their meals instead of standing near the drinks while eating. Then remember, if it is relevant, give examples or evidence. Vending machine that offers Healthy snacks like rice crackers and nuts are as well as juice drinks. So these can be some examples. Dear students, for paragraph 3, what special facilities should your canteen have? Here we have two examples. The school canteen has many facilities but the food is served in disposable containers which contributes to more pollution. The plastic bags or polystyrene containers are non-biodegradable which means they could remain on earth for hundreds of years, contaminating the soil and sea. Therefore, these containers should be replaced with plastic or steel trays that can be washed daily. In addition, the usage of plastic straws should be banned and students must be encouraged to bring their own spoon, fork as well as steel straws. I also suggest putting different bins for students to put their leftover food. Waste should not be discarded in general waste bin or down the drains. There should be three bins, blue bin for recyclable waste, brown bin for garden waste, green or grey bin for non-recyclable and food waste. The special facilities my canteen should have are more chairs and tables so that the students need not stand near the smelly drains while having their food. The small area could be a problem, therefore foldable tables and chairs might solve this problem. In addition, proper lanes for queuing up during recess can also improve the service at the canteen and prevent frights or arguments when someone cut the queue. There are Dear students, let's continue with paragraph 4. How can you improve your canteen? Again, remember, give your opinion, idea or suggestion, then provide reasons. If it is relevant, do give examples or evidence. Let's look at the question, how can you improve your canteen? So you can write, the, can the school canteen can be improved from the aspects of cleanliness, types of food served and operation. Then remember to give your reason. For example, canteen workers should clean the canteen and mop the floor more often. Workers must use clean utensils for cooking and serving food and cover food, which is prepared earlier in the morning before recess time. Or you can write, healthy food is important because, so there is a reason why, there should be important focus on the cleanliness and type of food serve. Okay, next, you can write during recess, the operation system can be improved by preparing more queuing lanes for students, more prefects on duty to prevent cutting lines or the queues and also fights. Then, you can give example. For example, if you want healthy food, you can say more healthy food like, so these are called examples or evidence. 
Dear students, for paragraph 4, how can you improve your canteen? Here, there are three examples. Several ways to improve the school canteen. During the interval, there is a great rush, but some boys do not behave themselves, and the service becomes a problem. The teachers should work out a better system for supervising pupils with the prefects on duty to maintain good discipline amongst the students. Furthermore, the canteen operator ought to prepare a duty roster of the workers who clean the canteen after school hours. Weekly inspections should also be carried out by the canteen committee members and the school management to maintain the cleanliness of the canteen, evaluate types of food served, and control the prices. To improve my school canteen, first of all, we need to improve the discipline of the students during recess. They should be reminded to line up properly and to put the leftover food, spoons and forks in proper bins, instead of throwing it on the floor or into the drains. Moreover, the cleanliness of the canteen should be given more attention. The drains are often clogged with waste and give off a stink. Therefore, workers should clean and mop the place daily. There are several improvements that can be done at the canteen. Firstly, the food service area, food display areas and equipment must always be clean and tidy. This will reassure students and their parents that the canteen items are fresh and safe to eat. Next, a welcoming environment can be created by keeping the area and furniture around the canteen clean, tidy and inviting. Classes or student groups can help decorate the canteen area with artworks, posters and signs. Dear students, now this is the last paragraph which is the closing or the conclusion. Remember, for the last paragraph, you have to sum up, restate your opinion, and you can also share your feelings or hopes or wishes. Here there are three examples. All in all, students stay in the school almost every day for five or six hours continuously, with little break during the time. Hence, to have something better and healthy to fill their hungry stomach in between is not a luxury, but a necessity. To sum up, a school canteen is an essential part of the school. It is a great place to promote an enjoyment of healthy eating. For students who use the canteen regularly, the food purchased makes a significant contribution to their total food intake and nutrition. Therefore, it makes sense to ensure the best food possible is available to enhance their ability to learn and take in the information presented to them in class. To conclude, every school has a canteen, and it makes it easy for students to get food from those canteens. It is really great to have a clean canteen with good facilities, and to get good and tasty food when we want. Dear students, now let's look at the model answers. Remember, some of the model answers are written longer than the word limit, which is 250. They are written longer so that you can get more ideas on how to elaborate the points or the ideas or the suggestions that you're going to write. My School Canteen by Colin Ali Bin Ahmed the school canteen is a place where meals are served to the people who work or study there. It should provide an environment that supports healthy food practices among school people, consisting of students, teachers and school civil servants slash workers, as well as canteen workers. In my opinion, other types of food which are healthier can be served at the canteen. I suggest that more vegetables and fresh fruits like bananas, oranges, or dry fruits should also be sold, instead of junk food. Junk food or fast food such as burgers, fries, donuts, cakes, cookies, chocolates and savouries contain harmful additives and colourings. Thus, canteen operators should be allowed only to sell rice, noodles, pasta, bread, fresh salad and other vegetables, as well as fruits and juices. The school canteen has many facilities, but the food is served in disposable containers which contributes to more pollution. The plastic bags or polystyrene containers are non-biodegradable, which means they could remain on Earth for hundreds of years, contaminating the soil and sea. Therefore, these containers should be replaced with plastic or steel trays that can be washed daily. In addition, the usage of plastic straws should be banned and students must be encouraged to bring their own spoon, fork as well as steel straws. I also suggest putting different bins for students to put their leftover food. Waste should not be discarded in general waste bin or down the drains. There should be three bins, blue bin for recyclable waste, brown bin for garden waste, green or grey bin for non-recyclable and food waste. There are several ways to improve the school canteen. During the interval, there is a great rush, but some boys do not behave themselves and the service becomes a problem. The teachers should work out a better system for supervising pupils with the prefects on duty to maintain good discipline amongst the students. 
Furthermore, weekly inspections should also be carried out by the canteen committee members and the school management to maintain the cleanliness of the canteen, evaluate types of food served, and control the prices. All in all, students stay in the school almost every day for five or six hours continuously, with little break during the time. Hence, to have something better and healthy to fill their hungry stomach in between is not a luxury, but a necessity. My School Canteen Written by Colin Ali Bin Ahmed The school canteen is a place where meals are served to the people who work or study there. It should provide an environment that supports healthy food practices among school people consisting of students, teachers and school workers. In my opinion, the canteen should not not sell junk food, this is because junk food contains harmful additives and colorings. The canteen operators should serve only rice, noodles, pasta, bread, fresh salad and other raw vegetables as well as fruits and juices. Meanwhile, vending machines selling soft drinks also should be stocked with health drinks such as soybean milk, yogurt drink, herbal teas and others. The special facilities my canteen should have are more chairs and tables so that the students need not stand near the smelly drains while having their food. The small area could be a problem, therefore foldable tables and chairs might solve this problem. In addition, proper lanes for queuing up during recess can also improve the service of the canteen and prevent frights or arguments when someone cut the queues. To improve my school canteen, first of all, we need to improve the discipline of the students during recess. They should be reminded to line up properly and to put the leftover food, spoons and forks in proper bins instead of throwing it on the floor or into the drains. Moreover, the cleanliness of the canteen should be given more attention. The drains are often clogged with waste and give off a stink. Therefore, workers should clean and mop the place daily. To sum up, a school canteen is an essential part of the school. It is a great place to promote an enjoyment of healthy eating. For students who use the canteen regularly, the food purchased makes a significant contribution to their total food intake and nutrition. Therefore, it makes sense to ensure the best food possible is available to enhance their ability to learn and take in the information presented to them in class. My School Canteen By Colin Ali Bin Ahmed The school canteen has many stalls offering a variety of foods. One can choose Malay, Chinese, Indian or even Western food. The canteen operator and workers serve meals during recess and the food is usually inexpensive. In my opinion, the canteen should not sell junk food, this is because junk food contains harmful additives and colorings. The canteen operators should serve only rice, noodles, pasta, bread, fresh salad and other raw vegetables as well as fruits and juices. Meanwhile, vending machines selling soft drinks also should be stocked with health drinks such as soybean milk, yogurt drink, herbal teas and others. The special facilities my canteen should have are more chairs and tables so that the students need not stand near the smelly drains while having their food. The small area could be a problem, therefore foldable tables and chairs might solve this problem. In addition, proper lanes for queuing up during recess can also improve the service at the canteen and prevent frights or arguments when someone cut the queues. There are several improvements that can be done at the canteen. Firstly, the food service area, food display areas and equipment must always be clean and tidy. This will reassure students and their parents that the canteen items are fresh and safe to eat. Next, a welcoming environment can be created by keeping the area and furniture around the canteen clean, tidy and inviting. Classes or student groups can help decorate the canteen area with artworks, posters and signs. To conclude, every school has a canteen, and it makes it easy for students to get food from these canteens. It is really great to have a clean canteen with good facilities, and to get good and tasty food, when we want. Dear students, we have come to the end of the lesson. Just now you learned how to write article for part 3 of the writing paper. So hopefully, this video will benefit you. Do remember to subscribe to my channel. It is called Educator on Me Tube. I'm Madam Gan. Signing off. Bye bye.